a lack of energy, lack of focus, um, a very black feeling um, that you're in a hole and it's very, you're not going to get out of it. It's very difficult to get out of this very black hole. Deb has been living with depression for over 30 years. Depression is a devastating illness that uh, affects the way we perceive, it affects the way we feel, and it affects the way we behave. Dr. Tom Jansen is a family physician at a regional mental health care facility in London, Ontario. Essentially anyone can get depression. Uh, it is not selective of age or gender. It's not selective of cultural or social background. It affects approximately one in ten Canadians. Depression has devastating consequences for the person suffering with the illness, obviously, and ultimately the worst consequence would be somebody taking their own lives. But beyond that, it also has a significant impact on things like relationships, uh, relationships not only with partners but also with children. Uh, it often leads to early termination of a job or job dissatisfaction. So it has an enormous impact not only on the individual but those that are around that individual. The impact the illness was having on my life is that I didn't stay in contact with anybody. I um, didn't talk to my friends, I wouldn't talk to my family, I would just stay alone. Um, I was so overwhelmed and I just stayed in bed, I couldn't go to work, and I lost my job. The way we currently diagnose depression is using a checklist, if you will, of symptoms. And we look at symptoms that both are physical as well as emotional symptoms. By definition, you can't be diagnosed with depression having only physical symptoms. You need to have additional symptoms, but the most common presentation that we see is that people come in with physical symptoms, and then it's up to the physician to ask those questions and determine what those accompanying emotional symptoms might be. Dr. Jansen believes that it is important to understand the relationship between pain and depression. We've learned a lot of new things about pain and depression. Pain can certainly cause or lead to depression, but we know now as well that depression can cause pain. And pain is a symptom that's not talked about frequently as part of the diagnosis of depression, and yet it's a key component. What we've learned recently as we study and learn more about the brain is that the same neurochemicals, specifically serotonin and norepinephrine, that are responsible for symptoms of depression are also very closely linked to symptoms of pain. As our understanding of the brain improves and our understanding of depression improves, and we learn that there are common mediators or chemicals in the brain responsible for both the painful symptoms as well as the emotional symptoms of depression, we can now use targeted therapies that will address not only those emotional symptoms, but also the physical symptoms of pain that the patient is suffering with. And so we're not treating depression per se, but we're treating an individual. Medication plays a big role in my treatment plan. And I find that if I follow my doctor's instructions to take the medication every day at the same time, and to not miss a dose is very important, but it's not everything in the treatment. I also find that for me, therapy along with it. Finding the, the therapist that you are comfortable with and can work with and the doctor that is right for you. The most important message for people that may be suffering with depression is that there is help. Dr. Jansen believes that as we understand more about depression, we can not only help people work toward getting better, but toward achieving a full recovery. And return to functioning, return to the relationship with their partner, return to that enjoyment that they used to have in life. I was very lucky that I have an incredible support system with my family, friends, and co-workers that understood and would support me and help me through that. If you have concerns or you're concerned about somebody you know who may be suffering with depression, there's all kinds of wonderful resources that are available today. Websites, for example, the Canadian Mental Health Association, cmha.ca or mooddisordersCanada.ca are wonderful resources. More recently, there's been a website, depressionhurts.ca, that was launched that speaks specifically to the relationship between both those physical and emotional symptoms and that mind-body connection. 
Above all else, the most important thing is to visit your private family physician and speak to them about your concerns. I feel wonderful now. I have my life back the way I should have been feeling for 30 years. I have emotions, I have feelings, I, I love waking up, I love going to work, I love being with my friends and family. Deb has been able to turn depression around. These circumstances and experiences are unique to her. To find out more about living with and managing depression and what you may be able to do, speak with your doctor and visit these websites.